What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your lost Samsung Galaxy phone. This is going to be two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the Google slash Android way and also the Samsung way. And I'm going to show you that you need to have it turned on basically because if you don't, you're not going to be able to do this. So with that said, let's jump into this video. So the first way we're going to do is the Samsung way. Now this will work with basically any Samsung phone and any Samsung device, ever be earbuds, watches, phones, tablets, and let's just jump into it. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure you have it turned on. If you don't have it turned on, then unfortunately you won't, probably won't be able to find your device. So the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna go into the settings of your phone. So swipe down from the top and then hit that gear in the very top right. Once you're in settings, what you wanna do is work your way down until you see biometrics and security and tap on that. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Find My Mobile, right there. Make sure Find My Mobile is turned on. If it's not turned on, might be in for a bit of trouble, at least in the Samsung way, but again, I'll continue with through it. So make sure it's turned on. When you tap on that, you're gonna see that it's turned on. You're also gonna see that there's a website. So you can tap on that website right there and find your Samsung device. Obviously, I'll put the link down below. You can click on the link down below and do this from your computer as well. And that way you should be able to find your phone. Now you probably have two-step authentication on. Hopefully you have access to that or you have a code or something that can get you into it from the computer, especially if you lost the device that you lost that you're looking for, but regardless. If you scroll down a little bit more, you're gonna ultimately see remote lock. I would keep that turned on. Send last location turned on and offline finding turned on. So basically what those last two mean are, it's gonna give you the last location. So if the phone's been powered off or died, it's gonna show you the very last location that it found through the Samsung servers so that you can ultimately find your device. Next, let's load up this website, which is findmymobile.samsung.com. And once you have that loaded up, it's gonna load up on your website. This is where you can do everything from ringing your device. Even if the ringer is off, you can still ring it no matter what. Even if, again, if it's muted, you can still ring it. You can uh, lock the device, you can track it. You can do all kinds of stuff in here. So it's great if you have kids as well, you can track them down. Um, but ultimately all you do is hit, hit that ring button right there and it'll ring your device so that you can find it. It'll also show it on a map. And again, hopefully you can find it that way. And if you also wanna change your devices, in the top left is three lines, hamburger menu, if you tap that, you're gonna see all the other devices that you have in there and you can you know, switch between them to find them, do the same thing, ring them, search for them, see them on a map. The next way is with the Android Find My Device app. You can also go to the website and I'll link that down below if you wanna do it through the website. And this should probably automatically be turned on as you have set up this Android device. So if you didn't set it up on the Samsung side, it's most likely set up on the Android side through that Find My Device app. And just to clarify, you don't have to have this app installed to find your device or to even have it activated. This just allows you to easily find it with the app on your phone, the Find My Device app. Or you can also use the website, it's basically the same thing. Ultimately, download this app on another phone, have it be your phone or somebody else's phone, or go to the website, and once you open it up, you can choose your device at the top, and then from there you can either play the sound, you can uh, secure the device, you can erase the device, but it basically works very similar to the way the Samsung Find Your Device works as well. So there you guys go, get all the websites if you wanna use the website way to find your device are linked down below. Otherwise, you can do it from Samsung devices or the Find My Device app for Google. Very easy, hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.